I get it, okay? They could become arms. They could become arms. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the deluxe Washi Voyager from Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. And I just had to address that because um, I made the huge mistake of saying that black and blue could not become arms because I am an idiot buffoon. And like I even showed it on the box, but I really wasn't paying attention because I think I mentioned that video that I was sick, so I was like at least half out of it. And I was kind of racing against the clock of trying to get those reviews out before I lost my voice. I never did lose it, but I got to a point where <clears throat> I couldn't talk for more than two minutes without having to cough. And so luckily, actually, because of that, I had actually already recorded this review. Um, but I had to stop to cough, and the other half didn't get recorded. So I got a chance to re-record it and make an amendment to that. So yes, uh, the Oshi and Okami Voyagers can also become arms. Um, you do it, obviously, via, as many have pointed out to me, uh twisting their heads, which also kind of threw me when I was messing around with it. And I didn't see anybody, any other like Japanese reviews do it. So most of the transformations are facilitated by twisting the, the Kut Kutama. So since they didn't twist, I was like, oh, confirmed, done. And of course I had to mention it in every subsequent review. Like there's gonna be a Ninja Steel review. I'm like, welcome to the review for the Ninja Steel Power Star 3. Hey, did you know that Okami and Oshi can't become legs or arms? Anyway, we're like a minute into this review, and some people might not know what I'm talking about. So, uh, let's get started with the last uh, of the bunch of, like, first wave of Voyagers with Washi, which is Pink's. And I actually quite like it, more than I thought I would. Not like I hated it, but when I first saw, like, pictures of it, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of okay with that. But now having it in hand, I think it actually looks pretty awesome. Um, I just really dig the design of it. I think it's sort of mean, sort of awesome look. Uh, contrast nicely off of like the hot pink look. It just kind of looks, I don't know, awesome to me. That's just, I can't really fully describe it. I just think it looks pretty cool. I think they did a really cool job of giving it this mechanical um, feel with the feathers in it. I just think it looks neat like that. Um, I like the darker plastic and I wish that um, it would be used a little bit more to make Wolf look a little cheap, I guess. It looked a little cheap to me. Um, you can't open its beak, so that's kind of a nice feature. I mean, it's not like a huge feature, but it's, it's kind of nice that they can give them a little bit of personality. And you can move its wings around and uh, flap them like this, so you can sort of get them in a, some varying flying poses if you have it uh, posed like that. Um, then, of course, it has its Q-Tama right here. There's its little non-full picture mode, and then there's full picture mode. So, yeah. And now we will still cut to my stock footage of me going over in the morpher. Summoning. And the attack. Alright. So now, uh, Washi is actually really simple. One of the, the most simple uh, to transform with um, Kureno. So let's go ahead and zoom it out -y, and we'll bring back Kureno now with Oshi and uh, uh, Okami, there we go, back on the legs. Uh, so to put it in the arm mode, basically all you do um, is this. Boom, and you're done. And you can twist it like that if you want, but yeah, and yeah, and it looks pretty cool. I think it has a, a bit of a, a neat presence to it. It kind of looks like it's gripping you. Um, honestly, it's funny because when I was messing around with it before, you know, obviously I'd seen pictures before, but when I was just, you know, taking the toy out and I didn't look at the box of the instructions, I thought it went like this, just off of instinct. Um, and I to, personally, to be honest, think that looks better. I think it makes it look a little bit almost more like a, a crossbow uh, type weapon. I think that's kind of neat. So I like just a personal opinion. Uh, maybe, who knows, maybe they'll do it in the show later. But I think it would be cool, you know, if it almost had two modes. Like this is kind of a crossbowy mode. And then this kind of almost gives it more of a, like a claw vibe or like a stabby vibe. I don't know. But that's it's very simple. Like you literally just set it up to, to plug in. You don't have to um, plug it in, plug it in. No, this isn't glade. Um, but so then for its... Um, feet mode, foot mode, you just fold the head up and then fold these back and then we will replace Okami. And let's do that. And then we'll be able to show 
um, the little light up thing. It'll be kind of bright in here because even if I turn off the lights, it's still going to be bright because it's like the morning right now. So it's like still pretty light up. But so there's that. Uh, it's one of the cooler looking modes. I think it's and scorpions are probably the coolest looking ones. Um, like these ones are actually pretty solid, I'll say. But I'm talking about, I guess, of the other four. Um, like I'm just not a huge fan of uh, Tenbin and Snakes, who I'm still learning the name of. Like, I know it, but I just don't feel like embarrassing myself trying to say it. Um, but, like, because they just look like feet. Like, just generic feet. But at least this has a bit of a personality to it. So, there's the on-off switch. It always throws me off. I'm expecting it to always be up here. So. Is it, though? Let's hold it down for... So, there's the little light. And there you get the gist of it. No different sounds or anything are unlocked. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about the it for this one. But honestly, it looks really weird, almost like that. But hey, look what we can do! Kablammy! There you go! But anyway, um, I really dig Washi. I think it's a pretty neat one. It's probably one of my more favorite ones. So if you like the design as much as I do, um, I can definitely recommend checking it out. I like all three of its modes, so yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure the crazy podcast at writersrangerambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also don't forget that Oshi and Okami can become arms and legs. I repeat, they can become arms and legs. That's not going to stop me from getting comments on all those videos for like years to come. But anyway, Dawson Writer, signing out.